Right, we're now on to multiplying thirds. We've already covered simplifying thirds and we've covered adding and subtracting thirds. So multiplying and we'll also look at dividing thirds in this, this episode here. Right, so I'm looking at the, the first question there and I've got root 5 times root 5. Root 5 times root 5 would give me root 25, okay? So what I've got is I'm just combining the numbers together when, when I multiply them together. So, so root 5 times root 5 gives me root 25. From there, I can simplify that down. 25 is a square number, so the square root of 25 will work out to be just 5. Okay? And what, what I should realise when I do more of these, that uh, root 5 times root 5 gives me 5. Any number that's inside the root times itself just brings that number, number out. So what I've shown you is I've multiplied the two numbers together here. Generally what I would do is I would go straight from there to the answer that I've got there, 5. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. And you can check that out on your calculator to make sure that that works for you, for all numbers. Okay, so, so then you can freeze the video again. And what you can do is you can try the questions uh, as we go along. Okay, so here we go. Root 2 times root 2. That's going to give me root 4. And that's going to give me an answer of 2. Root 11 times root 11, that will give me square root of 121. That's 11 times 11. And the square root of 121 is 11. Okay. So that's the simpler ones dealt with there. Okay. So we know that what we can do is we can multiply the two thirds together and get a different third. From that third, we can either simplify it by, if it's a square number, taking out the number. So that's one way of doing it. If it wasn't a square number, then we would be thinking about simplifying the third down, like we did in the previous videos. Right, let's look at the, the next kind of step in this, uh, this type of work with multiplying thirds. So I've got root 6 times root 2. So root, root 6 times root 2, what I'll have to do is I'll need to multiply the roots together, first of all. What I'll get is root 12, because 6 times 2 is 12. I'd then be thinking about simplifying root 12 down, and I'm thinking about a square number that I can use to multiply together with another number to get 12, and 4 and 3 fits the bill there. Taking the square root of 4 gives me 2, can't do anything with the, the 3, so that stays as a root 3, so I've got 2 root 3 as my final answer. What I have here is I've got root five times root, root 3 times root 5, that should give me root 15. And if I think about root 15, um, I'm trying to think, I can't use any of the square numbers that I would use. So the square numbers that would be kind of below 15 would be the number 9. Nope, can't use the 4, and really the 1 isn't really of any help to me there at all. So, that's going to be my final answer. It's going to be root 15. Now, we could also use this in uh, some algebra. If I've got root x times root y, what that will be equal to is the square root of x, y. Okay, so that's just telling me that whatever number I've got there and a different number there, what I can do is I can combine them together under a square root sign, and that root sign, I can just multiply them together inside that. And that would be the answer to that then. Let's uh, move on to the, the, next, the next part of multiplying out thirds. So what I've got uh, here is I've got some thirds that have maybe a number outside as well. And I've got some thirds together there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how this one works. So I've got a 3 here at the front. I'm really timesing that root 2 there. So 3 root 2 means 3 times root 2 and I'm going to be multiplying by root 2 again. So I know that I've got that 3 root 2 times root 2 as we'd seen previously is going to be equal to root 4. Or if you realise what that's going to come out to be root 2 times to root 2 gives me 2. So my final answer there will be 3 times 2 which will give me 6 and that's my final answer for that one there. Right, here Here I've got two numbers in front of the root. Okay, so a number here, a number here, and I've got two roots. So, so let's multiply these through. So if I just rearrange it, I'm going to rearrange it to be two 
times 3 times root 5 times root 5. Okay? From there, what I'll do is I'll multiply these two numbers together first. That'll give me 6. I'll just write the root out again, so that'll be root 25 when I multiply these two together. Or, if I skipped that step, I would know that root 5 times root 5 equals 5. Final answer on that one will be 30. Okay, freeze, freeze the video, try the others yourself. I'll give you the answers. Okay, so here again, and the way I would do this one is I would do 3 times 2 would give me 6, so I would just write the 6 down and I would have root 14 after that. Okay, well that would be the root 2 times the root 7, but I'll show you how that actually works. 3 times 2 times root 2 times root 7. If I gather that all up, that's going to give me 6. 3 times 2 is 6. Root 2 times root 7 is going to give me root 14. From the square numbers that I know, I can't simplify the root 14 down at all, so that's going to be my final answer. So I'll just drop the time sign, make it 6 root 14. For d, I've got the 4 times the 2 times the root 3 times the root 3. So I've got 4 times 2 is going to give me 8. I've got root 3 times root 3, which gives me root 9. Or, if I can see it, it's just straight to a 3. Root 3 times root 3 gives me 3. Answer of 24. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the multiplying of thirds. Um, I'll deal with multiplying thirds and brackets uh, a bit later on. I'll do that in a separate, separate clip. Let's look at dividing thirds. Okay. So dividing thirds, there's kind of two ways that we can do that. What I can do is com combine, I can combine the thirds into one big third, one big third, and divide the numbers inside it. Or I could simplify down one of the thirds, and I can cancel out by dividing the top and bottom by that. What I'll do is I'll do them differently. I'll do this one first here by combining them and using the rules of thirds, which would allow me to, if I've got two separate thirds as a fraction, I'll just put them into a fraction together. From there, what I can do is I can work out 8 divided by 2, which should be 4. So I've got the square root of 4. The square root of 4, what that will give me is an answer of 2. Okay, with the next one, what I've got, I've got root 27 on the top and root 12. So if I was to do this form here, I don't really think that would help me too much. Uh, I would have to simplify down quite, quite a bit. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to try to simplify the thirds first of all. So on the top, I've got root 27. So instead of root 27, two numbers that multiply together to get 27 but one of them's a square number, would be root 9, root 3. That would all be over root 4 and root 3, because the 3 times the 4 gives me the 12. What I'll then do is I'll simplify down here, so that's going to be 3, root 3, because the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 4 is 2, root 3. Okay. When I look at that there, I can simplify that even further. I can't do much with the numbers at the front, so that would be 3 over 2. I've got a root 3 on the top and a root 3 on the bottom. To simplify down fractions, if I divide the top and the bottom by the same thing, what I can do is divide by root 3, and that will disappear, and I'll go to 1. Divide that, that'll go to 1. So what I'll have left will just be 3 over 2 as an answer, and that can't be simplified any further. Okay, so I have another here. What I've got is, I can do this one either way, okay? Um, the way I'm going to choose to do it will be, I think I will gather them together like I did in the first one, okay? Just to show you a different way of doing it. So on the top, I'm going to have 2. On the bottom, I've got 32. 
2 and 32, if I simplified them down, I could divide by 2. So what I would have would be, inside my root sign, would be a 1 on the top. And what I would have, I would have a 16 on the bottom. Okay. Now I can still do something with that, because if I look at the numbers that are left, that's a, a 1 on the top, which is a square number. 16 on the bottom, that's a square number as well. So remember what I did here, I combined them together and got them under one root. I can then again split them back to the kind of original way that it was. So I'll have a root 1 on the top and I'll have a root 16 on the bottom. If I take the square root of 1, that would be 1. The square root of 16 would be 4. So that works out to be a quarter. Okay. I could have used the same method that I had, have done in part B here, but uh, I just wanted to show you a different way that we can do it. We can change it to one way and then back to the other and simplify down from there. Okay. I've got root 3, root 3 over root 27. So root 3 and root 27. So let's do it the other way. Let's go with this way here. On the top, I can't simplify root 3 down, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Root 27, remember I've got a root 9 and a root 3. What I can see on the top, I've got a root 3 and I've got a root 3 on the bottom. And what I'll be able to do a bit later is I'll be able to divide the top and bottom by root 3, I would expect. But um, my next line is going to be root 3 on the top. I'm going to be working out the square root of 9 is 3, and that gives me a root 3 there. So root 3 over 3 root 3. Dividing the top and bottom by root 3 would be, that would be once, and that would be once. So remember on the top, that root 3 just doesn't disappear, it goes to 1. Okay, So that would be a 1 on the top, and what I've got is I've got 3 there, I've got a times a 1, so I'm just writing out an extra line, and what that will give me is 1 over 3. So, and that would be that. So, so this is going through the multiplying surds and how we would do that. We've looked at dividing surds and there's a couple of different ways that you can approach that. Um, hopefully that's helped you out and uh, I hope that you can ken maths now. Cheers for now.